Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 is in theaters this weekend. Here's the numbers. Welcome back to Views with Hughes, your Jennifer News. This is Jerome Hughes. And if you haven't done so already, go ahead and subscribe to the channel and click the bell notification. So that way you'll be notified of future uploads and updates. So coming in from Deadline, we see here that Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 gets to $282 million for the global opening on the international box office. So here we see that it reached for the international box office uh, over the weekend in 52 markets at $168.1 million, but globally also included domestic, we got at $282.1 million, okay? So, um, gonna do a quick box office comparison with not only this movie, but also the other MCU movies, including Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness, Black Panther Wakanda Forever, Thor Love and Thunder, and Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania. So, so far, the production budget is the same as Black Panther, as Wakanda Forever, Thor, and Thor Love and Thunder. But when you do the inflation adjusted box office, it's coming, in, so far, well, can't really say that, but for the domestic box office, it's at $114 million so far, but for and this is for the opening weekend also compared is but it's lower than Dr. Strange and the Multiverse Madness, which also do, done did poorly. Um under Black Panther Wakanda Forever, which also done poorly in the long run. Under Thor Love and Thunder, which also done poorly. And then it's above Ant-Man and the Watch Quantum Mania. So basically, we see that it's done worse than the three movies that are actually flopping in the box office. Okay. Why did it flop? Okay, so why is this movie not doing so well since a word of mouth is saying that a lot of people are enjoying it and it's really good? But here's the thing: Disney did it to themselves. Not only Disney. But more specifically, Marvel Studios. Why? Because of the fact that a lot of the audience had tuned out. Okay, within the audience, a number of male. Because guess what? In another article from Deadline saying Guardians of the Galaxy Volume Three ganging up on Super Mario Brothers, which was in which was um released back on May second. If you scroll down here, you see here it says while the pick is hot with our demos, we hear that Guardians of the Galaxy um leans a tad female given star chris pratt okay so another even though you know chris pratt is, is um is the reason why a lot of females are showing up what does that mean for men it means that a number of men have tuned out you know and even the, like when they if they did not do the things that would make ch men to run away or chase men away they would have been doing gangbusters possibly avengers level numbers i could be wrong Eh, that doesn't really sound right, but it'll do way better than it's doing right now if they didn't chase the men away, myself included, because of the fact that now I'm no longer interested in anything created by or owned by Marvel Studios. The only thing I'm looking forward to that has something to do with Marvel Studios are the next is the next Spider-Man movie, only because of the fact that it's being merchandised and made and produced under Sony. Okay, but this is actually pretty interesting. Um, like I stated, it's I I gain, it's so far it's at number one in the box office, overshadowing um Super Mario Brothers. Okay, the Super Mario Brothers movie. And with that even being said and and everything, it's going further it says the overseas launch is 70 percent ahead of the first guardians of the galaxy and on par with guardians of the galaxy volume 2 2 which had the benefit of mayday holiday playtime in many markets on a like for like basis removing china from the comparison the opening weekend for the three cool is 98 percent ahead of guardians of the galaxy volume 1 and 13 percent above guardians of the galaxy volume 2 Okay, so with that being said, this movie may be another flop. Might reach number one in the box office this weekend for opening weekend, but what about next weekend? What about the weekends after that? Will it stay number one? How far will it um, fall? How long will it stay in theaters? Those are the questions that need to be answered, you know? And not only you, but I'm also waiting for those answers myself because it's also depending on the fans. If it's something that we want, 
Okay. But going back to the um numbers and everything, we see here that you know I'm wondering what's the um the the budget itself is at what two hundred fifty million dollars. Did it do that for for good for a box office opening? Nope, it hasn't. So it's going to take a long time for it to try to make back that money, or will it even make that back that money at all? You know, so yeah. I mean, Super Mario Brothers movies. I guarantee is going to do way better than Guardians of the Galaxy Volume Three. I guarantee you because of the fact that a lot of men tuned out. I'm not saying that men will is what um make it successful, but it's interesting to see the consequences of the actions of Marvel Studios and Disney. You know. So let me know your thoughts about this in the comments below. What do you think about this whole thing? Do you think that Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 is actually going to do better in the box office next weekend? Do you think it's going to be number one again? Or do you think that this is the highest it's going to go? So let me know what you're also expecting for how it's going to perform throughout the week. I'm, that's what I'm looking forward to myself. Okay, so let me know what went wrong in the video. Also, be sure if you have any additional thoughts that I did not touch up upon about this movie, let me know in the, in the comments below. Also, if you enjoy what I shared in the video, go ahead and smash the like button and also share far wide across social media. And if you don't, haven't done so already and you enjoyed all the content I put out there, go ahead and subscribe to the channel and click the bell notification so that way you'll be notified of future uploads and updates. Until then, peace.